You were very young when you got this gift from your grandmother, which actually propelled you into motor racing and your love of speed. Uh, yeah. First, Tell us about that. Okay. First, thanks for having me here. Yeah, at a very young age, I always wanted to be a superhero. Mm. Okay. Uh, normally, superhero comes with a mask. Or some sort of helmet and whatnot, and I always imagine that I have this superpower that I can fly, and you know, and uh, so when my grandma got me the first bicycle, um, that was my first so-called spaceship, if you like, you know, right? Yeah, your yeah. superhero vehicle. Vehicle, uh. yes, correct. Then I put on my helmet and I start imagining all the wild stuff, and 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 that's. That's how it all happens, you know. Okay. So much rejection, right? Um, your dad not allowing you to um, financially, you're not able mm -hmm. to. But why are you? Why were you still so adamant on pursuing that? I want to be a race car driver. I guess that makes the difference between what you really love the sport or you're not. So I, that's why I think I'm really passionate. Uh, I will do anything, you know, just just to get to my dream. Um, one way or another, you know, I, I have to make it happen this mm. life, you know, so I guess So there was nothing else in the mind, there was nothing else that you think, okay lah, maybe I can't be a race car driver, I'll be this, I'll be something else No, I think my whole life, it's only one goal, that's what I wanted to do, you know And I knew it's going to be a tough journey without my family support uh, Because getting into motorsports or like any other sports, you, you know, financially it's it's tough. You, mm. you need a lot of money, especially when you want to go into it professionally. Yeah. So I said to myself, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I don't have money. My dad just sent me enough money to pay my school fees. So I'm gonna do this. Well, obviously, it's work. There's no other, any other way. Mm. So during my time there, I work as a waiter in a Chinese restaurant in Chinatown. Right. That's your work. Yeah. I work as a dispatch boy, wow. uh, delivering parcel in uh, on my bicycle right i work as a sunglasses salesman uh basically every sunday i will stand at uh, the sunny market basically on concessions mm -hmm. uh, selling sunglasses without salary every sunglasses that i sold i get five pounds right uh, based on performance basically mm. yeah. you know the, my boss, my ex boss, he's actually from Hong Kong, so uh, he don't pay me anything. He say, young man, okay, here are fifty sunglasses. Okay, this is the bottom price you can sell. Anything more than that is yours. So you know, so I did that. This is making you good money. Why did you decide to pursue mm -hmm. racing again? <gasps> Well, it, it it was always behind my mind, at the back of my mind. You know, racing is always what I wanted yeah. to do. You know, making money, it's fun, it's good. Uh, you know, allow you to buy a lot of stuff, allow you to live a better life. Uh, but after that, what is it? After you, after I bought my first supercar, I said, okay, now I have a Porsche, I have my Ferrari, I have my Lamborghini. N now what? W what are you gonna do next? You know, so live your life. So I, I said to myself, okay, now I have enough money, okay? I can buy a race car now. I don't need sponsorship, doesn't matter. Right. So I always believe when you want to live a life, it has to be meaningful. Not just wake up in the morning, make some bucks, make some money, and then do something for other people. But you're going to do something that you love, uh, you know, make your life worthwhile living, you right. know? So I said to myself, that's what I want to do. I want to be a race car driver, you mm. know?